Welcome to Up for Discussion's 14th preview episode of the Run for the Million. Today we're highlighting Jason Van Landingham and Best Shine, a six year old stallion by Shine Chick Shine and out of Best Stop. As a lot of you know who've watched the channel for a long time, I hold this horse in very, very high regard. I think he's one of the unluckiest great horses of all time because in any other era with the runs he's made, he would be a multiple time major champion. And in the current era, because of the depth of the field, he's been second and third a lot of times. This was an interesting year for Jason because unlike years past, he didn't really have the one horse to choose from. He had a depth of a field that he's not had before. And the final choice came down to best shine and going to be big time. Um, a lot of people expected him to show big time after the Derby run uh, where he was second there. But I still think the familiarity with best shine is probably the reason why it pushes him over the edge. So we're actually going to watch a run that most people wouldn't consider a great finish, but the run is so incredible that I'm going to go with it anyways because it is the best sixth place run I've ever seen, and that's last year's run for the million when Jason marks a 230 and a half on Best Shine. So we're going to jump into that, and then I'll come back with some final thoughts afterwards. And this is last year's run for the million run that Jason Van Landingham and Best Shine made. It's a run where he marks a 230 and a half and ends up in sixth place, but it's a great run. And it's a typical Jason stop, lifted shoulders, dropping his hocks, and the horse is very off the bridle, quick footed in the backup. It's what we expect to see out of anything from Jason's program, especially one that's been this good for this long. Now, the right turn here is much more floaty and on top of the ground than you would expect for a horse that's this strong and powerful. And don't get me wrong, he pushes off the ground, but he is so big stepped that he just looks like he's floating around there at a high rate of speed. But it's still a very appealing thing. And then when Jason shuts him off, you know, there's that little hiccup there, but that's nothing to worry about. That doesn't take away from what this horse is capable of. Now, the left turns are even better. As Jason presses the gas and that horse just bears down even harder. This horse, I feel like, is one of those horses, if he makes a mistake or if anything of that variety comes up that's even out of his control he's going to try harder to be good and that's such a good-minded quality that we want to see in these animals he is such a good he is so so good-minded and on top of it he is pretty he's stylish he's got great power incredible control all of the things we look for that define what willingness willing is when we judge a run and this horse is incredible. He is so much fun to watch. He is so much fun to... I've never got the pleasure of judging him, but he is so cool in every aspect. And I, I love watching this horse. The trick about all of this is, and this is what makes these top-level guys, those top, you know, 10 or so guys, even better than the top, you know, the next, the next 20 behind them, is... They make all of this difficult stuff look so incredibly easy. And that's there's an elite group of guys. There's and most of them are here at the million. It's I've always said there were six, and I'm starting to push Danny Tremblay into that seventh in, into that role and a, and a few others to make it probably a top ten. But the guys who make it and and there's a there's a couple gals too, but they make it look so easy, and they have the horse flesh that will, that is willing to go along and make it look easy that is an incredible thing now on this stop this first stop you'll see something interesting about this horse he almost rolls his front feet a little more than a lot of the others and it's because he has to stop so hard and so deep that he has to use his front feet as he's moving his feet to balance them to balance himself because he gets so deep and it's so it's 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 subtle but it is one of the most physically impressive things that we've seen in all of the horses we've watched. Like, we've seen big stoppers that are quick-footed. We've seen big stoppers in balance. This thing stops so big that he ha that he can rebalance himself in one step and be right there. Like, it is, it's just that little bit that gives him a little bit more than most other horses in this field. There's only about 10 horses in the country that can do that at at that quickly, that suddenly. And the same thing on his right stop. Like, what more do you want? That thing, that was about perfect. 
And the thing about this horse that I love, he's a great horse, but it's the never quit. It's the he tries his heart out for Jason. And even on runs when we've seen it go wrong or runs where it's gone really right, like the one we just watched, you know this horse is going to give Jason 100%. And you know Jason's going to ask for 100% because that's who they are. As you can see, I am very high on this horse. I think this is a horse that should be considered among the all-time greats. And unless he wins a major title, I think a lot of people will forget about him in time, which should not happen. This is too nice of a horse for that. I really do enjoy the way that this one has shown his whole career. I mean, I was a fan of him when he was third at the fraternity. I've been a fan of him for many, many years, and I was, and I've always kind of pulled for this horse to get the recognition he deserves as being as good of a horse he has. On that topic, I don't know of a horse that's marked as many 230s or higher as Best Shine and never won a major. And that's just the level of sport we're playing at now. And I think maybe this is the place to do it and cement that legacy because this horse is so incredible. And yes, it's a tough field, but he's one of my big hitters for this deal. And I'll let you know exactly how big of a hitter I think he's going to be here in a couple days when we finish up the series and I do my preview rundown. So thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe on the videos on Facebook page. And I will see you all tomorrow for episode 15.